as usual, my face is done. I thought that I would sit down and do a really quick chit chat, first impressions review on the Lunar Beauties Life's a Drag palette. So if you want to see my thoughts, reviews, and the look I create, stick around. Okay, so like I said, like always, my face is already done. This way, that's out of the way, and this is not a super, super long video. I'm gonna just pin my hair back so that it's not in the way, and you guys can kind of like see what really is going on here. So this is the Life's a Drag palette by Lunar Beauty, also Manny MUA. The packaging on the outside, look at this. It is just freaking beautiful. I'm loving this outside look. The back is just the name of the company with the name of the palette. And you get 14 shades in here. There is a mirror. And I'm just going to bend this back. So this is what the inside of it looks like. You are, like I said, getting 14 shades. You're going to get 11 mattes, one satin, and two micro glitters, I believe. Yes, two micro glitters. It does come with a brush. I, I have used this palette. I have been playing around with it. Um, so this is the brush. I haven't used the brush yet. Let's, uh, let's give it a feel. Ooh. Oh, I like this. I might have to just give this one a, a go today and see how it works out. So this is what it looks like. I will include swatches at the end of the Get Ready With Me. Um, but what I love about this palette so far is it's kind of like split when you look at it. So here are all your neutral shades and then here are the pops of color. I absolutely love that he incorporated both into this palette because this makes it so good for everybody. It makes it good for the neutral users who are afraid of color so it gives them those options to play around with color and get to know color i'm not one that's afraid of color i love color and i love messing around with colors and trying new looks and seeing if it looks good if it doesn't look good so i mean i think that was a major major plus for this palette so if you want to see the look i'm about to create with this then uh Let's get into it. So I'm going to take the Lunar Beauty brush and I'm going to go into the shade right here, which is sickening. And I'm going to pull my mirror over just so that I can actually see what I'm going to do here. My lids are already primed. So I'm going to just put this a little bit above the crease, just a tiny, oh, just a tiny bit. There is some kickback and some fallout, but that is absolutely fine because most palettes have that. And it doesn't mean that it's a bad palette. It doesn't mean that it's a good palette if it has kick up. It's absolutely fine. Not quite sure what look we're going to go with. I think I'm going to stick with more of the neutral side and kind of jam in a little bit of the color. So next I'm going to take Hunty. I'm just on the same brush because why waste another brush? And I'm going to put that more into the crease, right, set into the crease. And this color is a very pretty color, but it is matching my skin tone. So I'm going to have to go in and like really darken this up and work with it, which is absolutely fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. Also, because now it's summer and... I'm a little bit more tan than I usually am. Oh, look at this highlight shining off my nose. I'm going to blend while we chit chat here. So did you guys pick up this new uh, Lunar Beauty palette? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Because so far, I have to tell you, I am liking it. The colors are so pigmented. They really, really are. And they're absolutely pretty. I'm really liking this. Now, I would usually go balls to the walls with this palette because it does have the color in it but I do have a whole bunch of errands to run and a whole bunch of stuff to get done and I don't want to be running around and people like 
where she thinks she's going. So we're going to keep it more along the natural look today. Really liking these colors so far together. Um, what next? I'm going to take this side of the Lunar Beauty brush. And I think I'm going to dip into Trade, which is this shade right here. Just a little bit. It looks like it's a very dark color. And I'm going to put this in the outer corners of my eyes. This is a pretty, pretty color. It really is. Now, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. In the pan, it looks very deep and rich. So it's looking like this color you do have to work with just a little bit. But I'm not uh, I'm not hating that at all. I mean, listen, not every color you get is going to just pack a punch right away. Sometimes you just have to finesse it a little bit and then you will uh, get the pigmentation you want, which is absolutely fine. I am going to bring it up just a little bit and drag it over, I think. Just a little bit. Not, uh, not too much. This is such a pretty, pretty color. Always blend because you just have to make sure that you're going to blend. These are such pretty colors. They really are. Now blending. The color trade, as I'm trying to blend it, I notice it's giving me a little bit of a difficult time to blend out, which we'll just work with it. I mean, you know, just roll with it. It's a very nice color. I'm really, really liking this, this color. I mean, that's the thing, guys. I'm always going to be honest with you. Like, if a if there is something I find as I'm going along, like this color trade is just a little difficult to blend, I'm absolutely going to tell you, you know, oh, it's, it's a little difficult to blend. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I'm here just to give you my honest thoughts and opinions and what I think and feel. Like I said twice already, I really like this color though. Once you really work it out and get it to blend out the way that you want it it is absolutely a beautiful color like i could see a real smoky smoky eye with this color like all over the lid and smoke it all out oh my goodness that would be so pretty so next i'm torn between the color beat and legendary to put on my lid I think we're going to go with Legendary, which is the shade right here. It's such a, a pretty micro glitter shade. And I'm just going to pat that right here. Again, I'm going to just go for a more neutral look today because I have a lot of errands to run. This is a very pretty color. So this is a very pretty color, but I don't feel like the brush is giving me what I need. So I'm going to wet my finger, not wet my finger, put it on my finger. There we go. And pat it on my lid. Yes, please. That is the pigmentation that I was looking for. The brush wasn't really cutting it for me at all. Absolutely not. Look at that pigmentation now. Just a little bit more. That is such a beautiful color. So pretty. So, I'm going to just take my brush because I want to blend these two shades together so they look like they belong together. 
and just get a little bit where my finger went over just to blend that out really nicely. So pretty. So you know what? I'm gonna take for my under eyes, I was just gonna more long lines stick to a natural look, but I think that I'm gonna take a little bit of Kiki and a little, little bit of Fishy and mix those two together and I'm gonna tuck them right underneath here, just, oh yes, yes. Just to have a little bit of pop of color into this look. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And these colors, they blend so nicely on and they're not even wet. I know that there are times where I use certain palettes that I do have to go in and wet the shades before I put them under my um, lash line. But I'm floored that this is going on so nice. I mean, you couldn't ask for more when you're trying to put it under your under eye and you really want it to stand out. Now I'm sure if you wet these, it would make them more bold and more vibrant. You'd think. I think they look so pretty. Let's wet this because I want to just see how they perform when they're wet. Because I have a feeling they're going to be more vibrant. Whoa, Nelly. Holy balls, guys. Holy balls. Look at that wet. Look at that dry. Yes. Yes, please. Oh. I have already have like 15 looks in my head that I could do with this palette. This is amazing. Now, if I didn't say it in the video earlier, this palette does retail for $40, $45, which isn't too bad. I mean, there are ones out there that are a little bit more expensive, a little bit more pricey, but I'm going to be 100% honest as I'm sitting here doing, messing around with my under eyes here, that for $45, you're getting neutrals and colors, 14 shades, decent, decent pan size. They're not tiny. They're not too large. They're just perfect pan size. And... You're getting the best of both worlds in one entire palette. Again, let me show this to you. You're, you're getting all these neutrals. You get a black. You get a white. And then you have all of these colors on the other side to play around with. I mean, and the pan size is phenomenal. It really is. So I am really quickly going to do my waterline, my tight line, and my mascara. And I will be right back with my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I lined my eyes with, as usual, the L'Oreal Infallible. I used the Lash Paradise for my lashes and I used Dose of Colors Truffle for my lips. I have to say, I really do like it. Yes, you did have to finesse and kind of give trade a little bit of love to blend out, but I'm not mad at it. I really am not mad at it. I really enjoyed using this. The colors are extremely soft. They do have a lot of pigment to them. Now, you're getting 14 shades again for $45 and you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting your neutral side and your pop of color, which I absolutely love. And I liked the brush. The brush was actually very, very, very good to use. Now, Everybody's entitled to their own opinions and their own thoughts, and these are mine. Like I said, I like this palette. Do I think that it's an investment that somebody should make for $45? If you're in the market for a palette that has the best of both worlds, I would highly say get this one because you could play around with the colors and the neutrals, and you can create some really, really amazing looks. I really, really like the way that the pop of blue under my eyes is looking and it's just so nice. Even when I didn't wet it, it was nice. I wanted to wet it 
just to see how much it is going to intensify and how much the look is going to just change, if that makes sense. But alone without it wet was so pretty on its own. It just intensified it when I wet it. And I absolutely do like this palette. If, if you're in the market for a new palette, I would say yes, pick this up. I will include swatches, just so you guys can see the swatches of this palette. this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel and until next time guys bye